In debate, there's an entire argument related to problem solving. There's a topic every year, and some teams choose to go off topic. In response to that quote-unquote rule breaking, the debate becomes about who has the better rule book. At the end of the day, there is no rule. The rules are debated right there on the spot. In debate, solving the problem of the rules is often a meta discussion of techniques. What is the most important problems and how do we solve them? I'm Nick Charles and my leadership presentation is going to be about problem solving. While you may not be debating in a hypothetical situation about global warming or the future of humanity, the skills that I have learned are immensely powerful tools that should be shared with the business world. Problem solving is not just about getting one task finished or one teleological goal. Problem solving is a base set of skills that can then be applied to a myriad of situations. One example of this quality is blue teaming and red teaming. In cybersecurity, two teams work against one another to ensure that there is ample system security. They are separate teams and then convene to share ideas later. This helps to create airtight security so they always know what the best course of action would be there for their opponent so they can know what it is and respond to it. A second way of attaining problem solving skills or exemplifying them is cost benefit analysis. Swatting is a great business example of how problem solving can be approached by weighing goodness and badness of an action against itself. Cost benefit analysis helps you to make a decision about what the best course of action is in a dilemma. Leaders must be able to do, to do perspective taking. Perspective taking means taking everything from the highest 1% of individuals in society into account to the most helpless. In business, this can mean opening markets and opportunities to new consumers that one did not previously think of. Cost benefit analysis means knowing whether or not you can and should act on the act of perspective taking. Debate has been a great opportunity for me to exercise my problem solving skills. Up until a few months ago, I was still using my skills as a debater. Role playing as policymakers in the highest levels, we had to make decisions about policy issues that would have hypothetically affected a great deal of people. On a more personal note, coming to West Georgia for me was another example of problem solving skills. I am from Chicago and I had no idea what to think or what to expect. However, by weighing the cost and benefits in terms of both education and cost savings, it helped me to make a clear choice about where to come to college and not a choice that I regret. One of the key portions of problem solving is switching sides and role playing like the examples of the blue team versus the red team. Perspective taking means thinking of something from a different point of view, such that you have a new and fresh perspective and you're always thinking through things from the most nuanced ways. The uh, other example is that of role playing and simulation. Uh, these can all help you to decide between two different uh, choices. SWOT analysis, deontology and utilitarianism are two different examples of cost benefit analysis that don't come from business, but instead the realm of, of uh, philosophy. Deontology holds that we should always most make the most ethical decision, while utilitarianism holds that we should make the decision that benefits the most number of people. These are examples of healthy alternatives to SWOT analysis. In conclusion, everything from cybersecurity to whether or not you should stop and help that person on the side of the road, problem solving is a necessary component to overcoming these situations. Switching sides and cost benefit analysis is a necessary component of problem solving. Switching sides allows you to think of the most unique solutions and cost benefit analysis allows you to decide whether or not to implement those. A good example of this is elections. If we never believed that we could have a lack of security or that the security of the United States elections could be penetrated, then we're never able to anticipate threats. It's only when we take into account the possibility of something happening that we can account for it and solve the problem.